Mental Health Authority reports attempted suicide cases in the country increased from 777 in 2020 to 902 in 2021. The increase over the years prompted mental health advocates to call for its decriminalization. The mental health experts argue that its continued criminalization contravenes the spirit of the Mental Health Act. The act passed by Parliament in March 2012 is to promote the rights and quality treatment of persons with mental health conditions. However, after a decade, the act has failed to address the issue of attempted suicide. The amendment will ensure persons who attempt to commit suicide are treated as persons with mental illness and not pressed with criminal charges. According to the chairman of the Constitutional, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee, Kwame Enimedu Entry, the amendment will be passed soon. The report is ready, as you saw me, uh, glance through and sign. We are going to forward this report to uh, the table office. This period is the budget period, and uh, that's why I want this to be done quickly probably because we will not take more than a week to finish this. In fact, we can even go through the second uh, reading, the consideration, and the third reading in a day. He, however, cautioned perpetrators of the act. This is not an attempt to actually say that hurry, people who attempt to kill themselves, the punishment is no more death or imprisonment. And therefore, we are, by this bill, are encouraging people to actually do more attempts. No, that's not the intention, but we, we think that they are sick. Although major reforms have been made a decade after the passage of the Mental Health Act, the authority is still challenged in its service delivery as a result of inadequate funding.